Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you some things that I started picking up for fall. Um, I'm so tired of the hot weather and I'm ready for pumpkins and cozy fabrics and plaids. So I've got a lot of goodies to show you for that. I'm going to start out with a couple of furniture makeovers I did. Um, I did two dressers and an antique type of cabinet. So I'm just going to insert a picture now of the first dresser. And this is a long type dresser. I picked it up for free on Craigslist. Um, there was no picture with the listing and I wrote and asked for one and when he sent it back I was like amazed that, that he was giving it away for free. Um, so as soon as I saw the handles and the feet and the detailing on the front I knew I had to have it. And luckily it worked out that nobody else had responded because there was a lack of picture. So I was the first one and I got it. And I will put a video in a clip of video showing you guys how it turned out. And so here's the finished dresser. I just did a couple coats of white chalk paint and then I put some oil on it and sanded it down while the oil was on and then rubbed it all off after. Um, I found out afterwards it's a technique called wet sanding but it gave it a really smooth finish. Um, and as soon as I saw it, even in its original state with the bin poles and the bun feet at the bottom, and then that detailing on the front drawer there. I just got so excited. So that's how that turned out. You can see I did a little bit of distressing around the edges. But this to me totally feels like a piece that uh, jo Chip and Joanna would sell at their Magnolia store. And the fact that I got it for free and then turned it into something I love. And then over here is another dresser that I recently got on Craigslist. And this one I paid $20 for. And right now it doesn't have pulls. Um, I just have ropes in it to make it so that we can open the drawers until the pulls arrive. I ordered some off of eBay to mimic the ones on the other dresser so they'll both have similar pulls. Um, but this one came spray painted a weirdly like almond beige color. So I nicknamed it Almond Unjoy. Um, and then we just... I sanded it down and I did the same chalk paint, two coats. This one I waxed. You can see it has more of like a yellow tone to it, which is why I tried oiling on the other one. And I must say I like the oiling better. It keeps it truer to color and it's a lot smoother of a finish. And this is the third piece I refinished recently. This actually came from my dad. It was in his side of the family for about 100 years, he said. Um, I'm thinking that maybe it was originally like a phonograph or a Victrola cabinet. It's got some holes inside of it where it looks like things could have been mounted. Um, and then it has a cutout in the back where maybe there was a crank or a power cord of some sort. I could be wrong, and if anybody else knows what this is for sure, definitely let me know. But it all was this uh, dark wood, and it was in pretty rough shape. So what I did for this piece is the top I refinished. I just sanded it down to get the major scuffs out. I did leave some of the dings in it still, so it still has a story. And then I just put on a coat of satin polyurethane. That way it wouldn't be super shiny, but it's still protected. And then down here... On the base of it, I used the new milk paint line that I found at my Walmart, and this is the color called Sumter Blue. And this is similar to chalk paint. You do the regular, like, first coat. Then you wait a half an hour and you sand it, and then you do another coat after that. And then you do the same oil technique that I used on the other dressers, but you can see with the milk paint, it wears off like it's been used over time. So even though this paint is brand new right now, it looks like it's been on the piece for a hundred years and the legs are what I got most excited about. It just has the character, like this piece has been moved around through the family for a hundred years and this paint has seen all the wear and the love. So I got really excited about that. And I have no idea where I'm going to put this yet, but I'm definitely going to keep this one. Okay, and now that you've seen the furniture pieces, I have a DIY from Home Depot. Um, every month I go to their do-it-herself workshops. I usually end up kind of like hacking it and making it into something different that's more usable for me. 
So this month was supposed to be a pot rack, and I don't have the type of kitchen that you can put that in. I'd end up walking into it or I'd rip the ceiling down or something weird. So I put a back on mine, and I put vertical cubbies in it. So basically, this is how it, about half the size of the pot rack. I added the vertical cubby separations, and I added the back, and then I just stained it. So I think I spent maybe like $4 on the sheet of plywood for the back. The rest of the materials all came from my original pot rack, what would have been the second half that I didn't build. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did put some pictures of a, this up with some things in it just to show how it would look styled. Right now I have it airing out because it still smells pretty strong of stain. And that is a weathered oak stain finish if you're interested. Um, I picked up two clothing items for fall. And like I mentioned, I'm looking forward to plaid. So the first thing I picked up is this buffalo plaid skirt. And it's like a flannel material and it's got some fringe on it. The fringe I was kind of like torn on, I could take it or leave it, but the rest of the skirt, the way it fit and the color, I think just with a plain black sweater this will look really cute. And that was $3.99. And then I picked up a button down shirt, and this is from The Gap. It's a boyfriend fit, and it's just like a uh, coral color with little like Swiss dots on it. And that was also $3.99. On that same shopping trip to Salvation Army, I picked up a sheet to go with my new fall bedding, which I will show you next. So this is the sheet I picked up, and it's a Ralph Lauren sheet. It's a queen flat sheet. They wanted $4.99, which I thought was okay because of the detail. It's got this ruffle on it, which I think when you fold it back over the top of your comforter will look really cute. So I'm hoping it'll look decent with the comforter that I have picked out for fall. Um, I'll show you that now. This I picked up on eBay for a steal. And it's an Ikea duvet cover and two pillowcases. But I'll show you the pillowcase because that'll give you a better idea. It's just a navy plaid. And then it's got this uh, gray and tan stripes. And this is almost like a chambray type fabric. So that is what the duvet cover will look like. And then hopefully, when I tuck that Ralph Lauren sheet over the top, it's not too much. It may be, I don't know, but I'll have to play around with it and see. So that is what I have planned for fall bedding. I have another DIY planned, and even though this is going to be boring, I'll just show you. I picked up two rolls of reed. And this I am going to do a DIY of a tobacco basket because I've been looking for one and even the reproductions are really expensive so I found a DIY online and I'm going to go for it and try and make my own. And I'll be doing that probably in like two, maybe two or three weeks time. So if it works out I'll be showing it to you guys. If it doesn't I'll show you guys too and that way you don't waste your time doing the same thing I did. Um... I also picked up some cotton. I have been on the lookout for cotton. I check my Walmart every time I'm there. They still don't have it. I ended up finding it at Hobby Lobby for cheap. This was also going to be a DIY until I found it for this price. They're just single cotton branches and these were in the fall decor section and they were $1.99 a piece but then that weekend everything was 40% off in the fall decor. Now, in my store, these weren't in the regular floral aisle, so if you're going to look for these, check the fall section, not the flowers. So I bought everything they had. They had eight stems. I bought all eight because they were like $1.20 something after uh, the discount. And the thing I really like about these is these stems are actually wrapped, so they're metal. You can bend them. You can shape them how you want. A lot of the cotton branches you get in the floral section are actual sticks, so you can't shape them, otherwise they snap. But these you can move, and I think I will be able to do some kind of a thing where I can make it like a bigger branch by just wrapping things in brown floral tape, you know, make it look like one big branch. So that's something I'm going to play around with and make up some arrangements for fall. 
I picked up some dish towels at TJ Maxx and they're just a red, white, and blue plaid. There, it's a set of two for $3.99. And even though I'm saving these for fall, I mean, you could use them in the summer. It's got like the 4th of July colors. You could use them in the winter. But I'm saving these to make it special for fall. And I picked up another dish towel, this one from Target. And it's the Threshold brand. It's a flower sack one, so this won't really dry dishes. This will just be for display. But it's got some farm animals on it. It's got the cow, the sheep, and then the chicken. And this was $3.50. And then the rest of the things I'm going to show you is some dishware that I picked up at Salvation Army. I am planning a harvest tea party. Um, I've been wanting to have like a party type thing forever and I was talking to my one friend and she kind of gave me the encouragement to just go for it even though it's like it's not a huge event it's just gonna be for family my mom my grandma my niece but I'm gonna do it all up fancy like little pumpkin type things little sandwiches just you know I'm getting some ideas on Pinterest but I needed like teacups and things because I don't have a tea set anymore so I figured Salvation Army would be a good place to look and I managed to find a set of four teacups with saucers and these can be used year-round because they're just white they're the Gibson brand which I think comes from Walmart because I've that's where I got my other dishes that are Gibson from but it's just white and then it's got almost like a hobnail design and then some uh, just lines on it really pretty really simple and then it's got the matching plates for each one plates have the same type detailing with the hobnail and then the lines and the set of four was $3.99 so you can't beat that I picked up this little container um, I'm thinking it was probably originally like a nut bowl or maybe mints or something but I thought it could hold different varieties of tea like pumpkin spice peppermint you know I'm gonna just have all kinds of options and this is from the real home brand which I don't know what store carries that but this was also 99 cents. The next dish I picked up I thought would be good for holding little sandwiches. And this is just a leaf shaped dish. And if you look up close, I, you can see like the speckles in it. And when I turned it over, this is handmade. So somebody did an amazing job. I can't even imagine like being able to make something of this quality. Because I remember my pottery from first grade. Um, and I just can't imagine being this good, like to put all the detailing of the leaves in it and everything. And this was 99 cents. And then the last find is a tea kettle, which is something that I don't have. So I found this one and it's the brand Copco. And it's just an enamel metal tea kettle, but the condition of it is what made me want it. There are no burn marks. There's one tiny scuff in the enamel over here, but usually the tea kettles you see at thrift stores, they're like burned and they're stained at the bottom, um, and the inside is like pristine. So this is one that I'm assuming is going to whistle because it's got a little hole in the lid, and then it's got a trigger here that just opens it. And I found this for $3.99, so I was super excited. So I have most of the stuff now that I will use for my tea party. Um... That won't be till the middle of September, but I plan on doing a video and showing you guys like my decor for it too. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my things I found to start off fall to get things going. Um, thank you for watching.